My name is Madison. I work at Sephora and we got in at the 2024 birthday gifts. First up, we have the Moroccan oil hydrating shampoo, conditioner, the hand cream, and the treatment. Youth to the people, cleanser, moisturizer, and dream mask. This one's so good. And the Kosas lip oil and airbrow. This is the best makeup gift we've had so far. The lip oil is so hydrating and the brows make your brows stay in place all day. The first Sephora haul of 2024. Did I do some damage? I might have done some damage. Got this new collab with Tower 28 and Kung Fu Panda. It comes with two full size products, a red cream blush, and then also the gloss to go with it. It's a really cute collab. I got the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. I have been waiting for the shade to come back in stock. This is NY12, and I'm wearing this concealer today. And if you're a full glam girly like me, it is so good. A little bit goes a very long way. I also got the new Laura Mercier concealer. This one I already have up on my TikTok, so definitely go and check that out. This finally came back in stock from Nude Sticks. This is the Hydra Peptide Lip Butter in Clear. I have every other shade except for clear, and I just want it clear for, you know, like every day. Picked up this little set from Cali Ray. This is the Staycation Prime and Duo set. It comes with a full size primer and then the travel size of the setting spray. Then I picked up this fragrance from Fleur. This is in Mood Ring and this I've been eyeing and I wanted to start off with the travel first before getting the full size. This is a fruity floral scent. It smells really, really yummy. Also got the Sephora Perfect Pout Lip Kit. I already have a video up of this so definitely go and check that out if you guys want to see swatches. Same thing with this, the new ABH Lip Velvet. I have mine in the shade Pure Hollywood. Sephora Collection Highlighter. This gives a lip from within glow. One shade of the new Makeup by Mario lipstick in the shade Bronx Baby. That's that's it for the haul. Oh my god, you guys, we just received the new shipment of Sephora 2024 gifts. Let me show you what they are. Okay, first we got a gift from the youth to the people. It comes with a kale, green tea, and spinach cleanser, the superfood ear with moisture cream, and the super berry hydrate and glow drain mask. I'm going to open it very carefully and show you what's inside. little packet right here we're off to a great start next is a gift from kosas this is what it looks like and it comes with air brow clear lifting gel and a wet lip oil gloss this is what they look like outside of the box this is so cute okay and the last but not least is the hair care gift sephora usually does hair skin and makeup but fortunately no perfume this year this is what it looks like and it comes with a moroccan treatment hydrating shampoo conditioner and a hand cream let's open it up 
This is what the products look like. A little treatment mask. Is it the mask? No, this is actually the hand cream. And this is the treatment. I'm not gonna open this one, but you get the gist. I don't know what the gifts are gonna be online, but as soon as I see them, I'm gonna update you guys. Let me know what gift you're gonna be getting in 2024. <laughs> I just got all of the 2024 birthday gifts from Sephora. So let's do an unboxing and a review. Honestly, don't know which one I want to open first. These are really good, but unfortunately, now there's no mini Dior perfume birthday gift, which I really like, but it's always sold out anyway, so. Okay, so let's start with the hair care option. This is actually a really good size, and it comes with three products and then one sample. So this one is all Moroccan oil products. So we have a shampoo, conditioner, the Moroccan oil hair treatment. This smells so good and I've actually used this in my hair. Like I use it at the very ends of my hair. And this is actually such a good product. And I know it looks small, but you literally need a little, little bit. And last is a hand cream, a little fragrance hand cream from Moroccan oil. Now we're gonna unbox the second one. This one's from Kosas. It comes with a wet lip oil. I literally love Kosas wet lip oil, so underrated. And then one of their air brow, I think it's like their brow gel. Let's see. Love. Oh, wait, it's just a clear. Okay, perfect. It's just like a clear brow gel. And then we have their lip oil. This one is in the color Unbuttoned. I actually own this one and it is so pretty. But go to part two to see what it looks like on and to unbox the last birthday gift. We're done here, guys. Go to part two. <laughs> I did some damage at Sephora, and I wanted to show you guys the things that I bought. This is a collective haul, and a lot of the things I purchased using a gift card. These three are perfume samples. This is a Rare Beauty hand cream, a Laneige sleeping mask, and a small brow pencil. Now moving on to the big items. First, starting off with Fenty Beauty. I got one of her gloss bombs in the shade Fussy. A mineral hand cream with SPF in it, her plush pudding lip mask, and a new luxe bomb from the ASAP Rocky and Fenty collab. This one is mine, and I got a matching one for my boyfriend. Next are these two Dior lip maximizers. These are the new shades Icy Blue, and this one is Shimmer Candy. The next two items is this Rare Beauty blush in the shade Happy, and the Say Illuminator in the shade Star Glow. I've seen a lot of people wear this under their makeup and I can't wait to try it. If you can't already tell, I picked up an excessive amount of lip products. I picked up my very first item from Summer Fridays and it's the Lip Butter Balm in the shade Vanilla Beige. And Anastasia's new Lip Velvet in the shade Kiss. Down to the last two items, I got the Ordinary Toning Solution and the Touch Land power mist this is everything i was able to get and i'm so happy and grateful and just excited to be able to try everything i just got home and there's no power but let me show you my first makeup haul of 2024 i lied it's not just makeup first thing i got is bulgari Anya coral this right here is easily my most complimented fragrance so i got the gift set it's got the full size and a little mini size next thing i picked up is the new dreamer collection from unearthly cosmetics this is a brand i could always count on their products to be good so this collection has an eyeshadow palette a highlighter palette and four lipsticks here's what the eyeshadow palette looks like the highlighter trio and the four lipstick bullets to go with their lipsticks i also picked up up all of their lip liners. Then I did a little shopping at Ulta. I've only picked up two things from Ulta so far, which is good for me. So the first thing is the Lifter Plump Lip Gloss from Maybelline. And then I also picked up this new eyeshadow palette from NARS. It's the Afterglow Irresistible Palette. I just love these palettes so much. Last but not least, we have Sephora. First thing I grabbed was Marc Jacobs Daisy. This is just another staple perfume for my collection. Why I thought I needed two brow gels is beyond me, but I picked up the Rare Beauty Brow Gel and also the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel. I've heard so many people People talk about this rare beauty one and i seen that it just came back in stock so there's that one and then i picked up a travel size of the anastasia beverly hills just to see if i was gonna like it i think the consistency reminds me of the patrick ta but i will probably do a comparison video on those i also saw these in store the anastasia beverly hills lip velvet i picked up the shade pure hollywood very curious how i'm gonna feel about this one because it seems to be a little bit more drying and a more moussey formula but i'll keep you posted and then my favorite mascara right now is from tower 28 and i saw they had the new 
new brown one in stock, so I snagged that. And then this was the main reason I went in store, was for these lipsticks right here. These are the new Makeup by Mario Super Satin Lipstick. I already know I'm gonna love these. I first picked up the shade Nolita, and I also grabbed Bronx Baby as well. This will probably be a collection that I want to own them all. Stay tuned for future videos because they'll be coming soon. We have another Sephora favorites kit. This is the Fresh Face Kit. This claims that it has $138 US value and $169 Canadian value. First off, we have the Rare Beauty. This is this guy's a blush in Happy. It's 3.2 mils and it looks like this. It's super pretty, guys. I did apply a bit of that already and I think it looks so pretty on the skin obsessed next we have the iconic a prep setting glow setting spray it's honestly super glowy i am actually wearing it right now because i already have the full size but let's put a little more oh my goodness it is super glowy and super nice this guy here is in the size 30 mil really nice size and it just adds a perfectly glowy this to your skin it's stunning next we have the sunshine drops de bronzy anti-pollution this guy here is going for five mils it is a popular item from drunk elephant definitely excited to try this out further i have already tried it before and i absolutely love it i like that it adds almost a self-tanning glow to your skin but it's temporary and it looks beautiful underneath the skin so love it Next, we have the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Sharpener. In, it's a plumping lip liner in puffy nude. I am actually wearing it right now. Over it, I actually have the uh, Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. So all of these items are plumping, okay? <laughs> in Pink Glow by Makeup by Mario. This guy is gorgeous, guys. You just put a little bit with that lip liner. Oh, oh my goodness. Mmm. They picked the perfect two items. I love these two items. Next, we have our second full-size item. This guy's the Huda Beauty Longwear Eye Pencil and very brown. And it is another full-size product. Let's try a little bit right here. This stuff is super pigmented. It really uh, like just glides on the waterline. It looks so beautiful on, guys. I'm obsessed. Full-size. Love that. Next, we have a really cool, interesting product. I originally thought it was setting powder, but it's actually the Blurring Balm Powder for Face and Eyes. It's the, by, <laughs> by Danessa Mar Marix? Marix? I don't know how to say her name, guys. Uh, I know the brand, uh, but it's actually in a universal shade, and it's actually a balm. So I think it is technically more like a, a primer, uh, and it's supposed to mattify your skin, so I definitely didn't try it out yet, but I'm definitely interested in trying out this product. Uh, I definitely haven't tried much from this brand, so I'm definitely excited to check it out. This guy is in 6 grams. Final product, and our last full-size product. So again, you get three full-size products in this kit. This is the Tarte Light Camera, sorry, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. It's honestly such a great mascara. It adds volume, it adds length, it does all the stuff. I love Tarte mascaras, I think they're so good. And this one's such a great cult favorite, so it's really exciting to have in this kit. I think I recommend this kit. You get three full-size amazing products, plus you get a really amazing uh, deluxe size products in this kit, so I highly recommend it. I think it's a great Sephora favorites kit. Love it. <laughs> Quite possibly my largest makeup haul to date. Grab a snack. Honestly, some of this is from Ulta, some of this is from Sephora. I am on a concealer kick. I already threw the packaging away to this one because I have really enjoyed it so far. This is the new Natasha Denona concealer. This is a really hydrating concealer and I really, really like it so far. I got the shade RN3. I wanted it to have a bit of a rosy tint so it could cancel out some of my dark circles. This blends out so beautifully under the eye and it has quite a bit of coverage. Aside from the product, the one thing I loved about Natasha Denona was her display. She categorizes her shades by undertone, which makes it very easy for a beginner to shop. I'm gonna be honest, this concealer is giving me a massive headache, but I want so badly to love it. This is the third shade of this concealer. This is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer that is absolutely viral on TikTok right now. Listen, I have never had so much trouble trying to find a shade and I would consider myself a professional artist. I don't know if anyone else has had this experience, but I feel like every single shade oxidizes really bad and it is very yellow. So finally, I'm testing out this shade Silk and it seems to be okay as far as the shade goes, 
but I am having trouble with this uh, creasing. So I'm gonna give it one more chance. Trying to expand my horizons into the drugstore realm when it comes to concealer. I'm really picky with concealer. So I picked up the Hydrating Camo Concealer from e.l.f. and I got the shade Light Peach. Speaking of drugstore, I am getting more familiar with the drugstore side of things. So I got a True Match foundation. I haven't used these in years, so I actually kind of forgot what they were like. So I got the True Match foundation by L'Oreal in the shade N6, and I also got this Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid in it by Maybelline. I will keep you posted on both of these. This is another second chance product for me. This is the Patrick Ta Cream Foundation. Just being honest, the first time that I tried this I instantly did not like it it felt very greasy on my skin but you know unfortunately sometimes it takes me a couple times to try out product I picked up the shade light medium 3 let me tell you what this blush is what dreams are made of this is the Patrick tall blush in the shade she's wanted girlfriend she has gone viral for a reason what in the absolute this is going to be stunning on every single skin tone, fair to deep. It's gonna look so different on every skin tone, but I just know it's going to be luscious and amazing, especially for winter. So I've come to the conclusion that I may or may not need an intervention with lip products because that's kind of what half of this bag is. I think what it is for me is that makeup has gone so clean girl recently that honestly this is kind of like the same look that I wear every day just different versions of products and the most fun thing for me is to do this bare basic makeup look daily but experiment the heck out of lip products experiment with all kinds of different lip products so that's kind of where I'm at and the funny part is I don't even realize this shit until I get home like what is the four lip liners Makeup Forever Endless Cacao, which is the coolest of cool tone lip liners that I have ever seen, and I am so excited about this. Natasha Denona Lip Pencil in the shade Natasha. Anastasia's Lip Liner in Muted Mauve. And the absolutely over-the-top packaging from the mother herself, Pat McGrath. Her gorgeous lip liner in the shade Structure. Are we sensing a pattern here? Oh my gosh, I just realized that her lip liner comes with its own sharpener. Hey, I really actually like that. <laughs> no, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm actually a little embarrassed because I didn't even realize this until literally doing this haul. We're not done with lips. We have four lipsticks and a gloss. What? What was I doing? Starting with Miss Pat, her products are beyond phenomenal from the packaging to the formula to the quality to the way they last this is her matte trance lipstick in the shade 1995 so luxe and so rich and so heavy and bougie and just that's one swipe coverage insane never never seen a formula like them my first chanel lippy listen i am equally as influenced even though i am also doing the influencing so anytime i see something that i love i immediately add it to cart and i saw a tiktok of this girl using her intense lip color in the shade illusion look at this product anything bougie beauty sign me up immediately I don't really have any shade like this. It's a gorgeous terracotta looking shade. It's almost like a balmy formula. It's honestly the packaging. Makeup by Mario's brand new lipsticks in the shade Midtown. This is the absolute color of my dreams. I cannot put these types of tones down. So of course I had to add this to the collection. Cannot go wrong with MAC lipsticks. They're such a classic and the formula is so good. This is the matte formula in the shade Honey Love. A really pretty peachy nude. And lastly, NARS Afterglow Lip Shine in the shade Turkish Delight. The most beautiful light wash of baby pink. I'm thinking we may need a lip product series. What do you think? I have never tried the brand Nude Sticks, so I picked up a blush and a contour to experiment. I'll be honest, I don't fully get the packaging, but it's cute and it's definitely reusable. This is the All Over Bronzing Stick in the shade Bondi Belle. I had to leave with this matte blush in the shade Bareback. Look how beautiful that is. Like a perfect everyday flush of blush. I will admit I've used this already and it's stunning. I will not be able to be much tanner than this or else it won't show up well, but this is a perfect little flush of color. It's not too overwhelming. 
very good for like a no makeup days. Last but not least, I have never tried the Makeup by Mario contour stick. So I picked one up in the shade medium and I will admit immediately this packaging is weird. It's very flimsy. It's very off. It feels like it's going to fall apart. Maybe I just got a one off or maybe that's all of it. And I will also admit that it looks very, very warm. So I might have needed light medium, but I am still excited to test this out. Needless to say, I will not be getting any new makeup for a while. What should we try first? Go shop against Sephora! I don't even know why I'm going in here. I don't need to. Oh, Emma does. That's why. <laughs> this is so good. My hairdresser uses this on me, and my hair feels so soft after using this whole brand. Wait, they literally just sent me this. The invisible liquid patch? <gasps> is it like a pimple patch, but it's not a pimple patch? I didn't even open the package yet. Oh, I'm excited. I really want to try this concealer. This is a mess. Oh. Emma needs a moisturizer, so we're trying to pick her down. This is really thick, and it's it's good. And she has really dry skin, so she's going to need something thick on this. I put this on top of that for, like, extra hydration. That's what I do in the winter. I really wanted to try this. I have, like, all these dark spots because I demolished my skin recently. This is apparently supposed to get rid of your dark spots. Ew, the concealer on my hand still? Get off. Oh, Patrick Ta just came out with a new shade, right? Wait, I don't remember. Was it this shade? Oh, it's this shade. That is so pretty. I also really want to try the new NARS liquid blushes. Oh, this looks so good. And I want to try the Mario ones. This is a problem. Too many blushes. My sister has this in moisturizer version, and it smells so good. But I just ordered this in a big size. Oh, they have a mini version of this. No, I'm cheap. This is what $100 looks like being a girly. Oh, she's eating. Oh, this skin tint looks fun. Okay, sorry. I need to leave the store. I need to leave the store. Okay, we're all done. I don't know how I didn't buy anything. How did I not buy anything? For That's self-control. Love you. You guys, I successfully did no shopping September, and it's October now, so I went on a shopping spree. First is Target. They opened an Ulta at my Target, so I got this, and I'm very excited about it. Katie got Summer Friday's lip, and Youth to the People Cleanser. Youth People, I don't know. But that's for Katie, and then for me, I already opened it in store, but I got this Play Say Lip Oil. It's new. I'm actually so excited about this. It's my first holiday kit, and it's all lips. Obviously, I love lip products. I really needed this for school, so I finally got it. It's the Sol de Janeiro Jet Set. And last, but certainly not least, it's back! My Charlotte Tilbury Duo. I'm so excited it's back. I thought it wasn't coming back, but it's back, and I got one. So yeah, that's my haul. You're going to get a lot more holiday content coming up if I figure out my password to this account. I spent over $2,000 at Sephora this month. I know, I don't want to like say that out loud. <laughs> this is not even half of it. I literally just threw all my Sephora bags away. But let's go through everything that I bought and I'm going to tell you guys if it's worth purchasing or not. You guys know I'm a Summer Fridays girly through and through. So I got, obviously I had to get both of their new lip butter bombs, the Sweet Mint and the Iced Coffee. I do like these, like I do, and I'm definitely gonna be using them, but would I run to repurchase them when these ones run out? Probably not. If you already have the vanilla one, the sweet mint is also clear. The iced coffee, this one is a bit different, 
but I'm a little surprised how sheer the finish is. Um, I thought this was gonna be like a beautiful brown color, but honestly, it's a very, very, very light nude. So, are these worth it? They're good, but I'm not gonna run to restock them. Absolutely love this spray. This is the Kosas Plump and Juicy Spray. I literally use this morning and night, and it is so refreshing. I feel like it actually plumps my skin, and collagen is super good for your skin, so this is a crucial part of my skincare routine. If you're thinking about getting this and you don't want to pay the $50, they do have a smaller version on their website, so definitely check that out. In my opinion, this was a waste of money just because whenever I buy a Laneige sleeping mask, I like obsess over it for two weeks. I use it. I'm like, oh my God, love this. And this was like the limited edition peppermint one for the holidays. So I was so excited to get it. But I always go back to my Aquaphor all the time. Every single night before I go to sleep, I use my Aquaphor. Like if my lips are not feeling hydrated, I just never grab for this. Not a fan of this skin tint. You guys know I love the Summer Fridays and the Tower 28 skin tint. I wanted to try this one. Smells very funky, you guys were right, but also it just like feels very oily on my skin. And like as you guys can see, like I already have like some oil buildup on my T-zone, my nose, my forehead, and this is not suited for the oily skin gals, which is me, so I'm gonna have to pass on this. The Hourglass Concealer, I think that this was my best purchase of the month. It gives you the most perfect flawless under eye. I love a full coverage under eye because I have very dark circles. This one is like definitely my number one concealer. Okay, go to part two. We literally have so many things left to cover. Go to part two. Why are you guys still here? Go to part two. Did an order on Sephora for the first time ever the other day. I did not hold back. But let's do a little haul. I believe there's also a little Sephora goodie bag in here. So I think I'll leave that till the end because that's like a surprise for me and you. So this order actually came about because I was looking for some skincare. Actually just went on there for a moisturiser and ended up with £300 worth of products. But it's okay. It's fine. Treat yourself. This is what I actually went on to order. It's the La Roche Posay Seeker Plus Balm. This stuff works miracles i'm obsessed with it so i used to use this all the time and it makes your skin so hydrated and glassy i did actually move on to using the serum version but i just needed this back in my life it's gorge so the first few things are like oldies but goodies like things i've loved in the past not used for a while and wanted to repurchase because i loved them at the time i picked up one of the glossier niacinamides i used to use this all the time and i was obsessed with it the reason i don't rebuy things instantly is because i get sent so many products that i'm like is it really necessary but it is necessary this because i just love it and the packaging is just like so cute look at that she is stunning but it is actually a really good niacinamide if you're looking for one i got one of the milk vegan face cleansers i love this stuff it's very gentle on the skin and i have acne prone skin and i find that this really helps next up i picked up a new foundation staying on the theme of glossier i got the new glossier fluid foundation i've been seeing everyone on the mum use this and everyone's obsessed with it so i thought i'd give it a little wear but i am the worst at shade matching online so let's hope speaking of shade matching i've picked something up that i've been dying to try for the longest time it's not very often that i get dead excited about new makeup but this i always see my bestie soph using this and her skin looks amazing and everyone goes on about this foundation the house labs but as i said the shade matching problem i tried to look up tiktok videos about this foundation and tried to look at girls that had like similar skin tones to me so let's hope let's really hope this matches me because she wasn't cheap i always hear people talking about this brand as well and i don't think that i've ever tried anything from them one size and this powder is meant to be something else i only got the mini size though because i am a huda beauty easy bake through and through so i thought we'd give her a little we'd give her a little trial this is gonna seem a little bit excessive and it is i'm not gonna lie it is but i have an obsession with lip products so i picked up four lip liners and another lip product see some judge me i always see my bestie isabel use these makeup forever lip liners i don't think i got the shade that she uses though because they didn't have many left in stock i think hayley bieber uses them or they use them on the set of euphoria or something and if that's gonna make it you know that's gonna be sold out got the shades endless cacao i think that's how you say it and then up and down time again soph influenced me you know what if anyone's gonna influence you it's gonna be your bestie so i got two of the makeup by mario lip liners in the shades tan and jeff i really wanted the shade smoky pink but it was sold out last but not least another makeup brand that i've never tried that doesn't happen very often nude sticks i feel like everyone goes on about nude sticks and isn't like sophia richie the face or does she like own the brand or something but i got three of the cream blushes i think these are little mini ones which is cute the shades look right up my shoe okay when they said mini 
they really meant mini but you know what it's okay they'll fit me handbag it's fine not me trying to convince myself that the spending is just fine sorry i forgot about this oh my god i saw a girl use it on tiktok and i was like instantly add to basket it's one of the makeup by mario moisture go moisture go moisture glow pumping pumping <laughs> Plumping lip serums in the shade Petal Glow. I can already tell this is going to give me the most gorgeous, glossy, hydrated lips ever. Last but not least, we have the little Sephora goodie bag. I got all of this for free. I don't know how much I had to spend to get this, but we've got to love this makeup bag. Look at the big pocket in the front. This thing is a molten brown shower gel. Emma Hardy cleansing balm. I love a good little cleansing balm. I love Amika and this is their pear cup dry shampoo. Oh my god. If you've never tried Amika, their hydrating shampoo and conditioner. Gorge. Good Jeans Glycolic Acid Treatment. A little Lancome Peptide Cream. Elemis Superfood Midnight Facial. A little hair mask. Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. And last but certainly not least, a little mini Benefit Roller Lash. Don't know about you, but I feel like I have been well and truly spoiled by Sephora and by myself. <laughs> <laughs> to call it anymore because i literally called my 360 dollar haul a huge haul and i had like seven comments saying what do you mean this is literally a small haul this isn't even big no small as your man's dick just kidding let's keep this pg anyways the total of this haul was 204 dollars the problem though with this one is that i didn't save up for this one <laughs> so i'm actually just broke now anyways let's go also i'm freaking pissed off before I get into the haul, because here's my drunk elephant moisturizer. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. I'm literally out of moisturizer, and they did not have anything in stock at Sephora, so I'm gonna have to order another one. Yay. Anyways, let's go. So the first thing I got was the Refi Primer. I'm so happy. Also, I don't have any makeup on because I was going to do my makeup and like, get ready with me. Um, but this is the Refi Primer. I'm honestly really excited to try this. I did a... I asked somebody... Like, I had this milk makeup primer. And I love this primer so much. But I'm almost out of it. And I didn't really want to rebuy it because, like, it makes some of my products peel. So people said I should get the Refi Primer. So I did. And it looks so cool. And it's a roller. And I'm so excited to try it. Next, I got the Sol de Janeiro Pink Perfume. Okay, so if you see my perfumes back there, these are all Sol de Janeiro. And then I have the, um, I'm just going to show you really quick. I have the 71. So I have all of the current available Sol de Janeiro perfumes, except for the yellow one. The, like, Rio one. I think it smells like sunscreen. And that's just not my cup of tea. It's just not. This, however... I have it on right now. It smells so good. So good. Like, I love this so much. I love it so much. I Next, highly requested, I got the Plum Plump Moisturizer. I don't know if I want to use this at night because now that I'm out of the Drunk Elephant one, I might just use it in the day too. But it's so cute. And I had the mini one and I loved it. And this one is just so cute. It's unopened. I honestly don't know how much product this comes with though because it looks like it comes with barely any, but I can't really tell. Okay, yeah, that comes with quite a lot. So, yeah. And this honestly really wasn't that expensive. Like, if this is a good moisturizer, this could be something I repurchase instead of getting the Drunk Elephant one. Don't get me wrong, I love the Drunk Elephant one, but I don't really notice that much it was doing for me. And for the price, I really honestly feel like you're just buying it for the name and packaging. Which, honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. That's pretty much half my collection anyways. Okay, next, surprise, surprise, I got another concealer. I really need to stop. But I needed to get one that was my shade, and I think I I think I got it. I wanted to get one that was lighter so that as it got pale, it matched me, and it also brightened my eyes. So I got the Hourglass one, and this is the shade that I got it in. And I've seen so many people use this and say that it's their favorite mas or not mascara concealer. And because I got it in store, I got to try it. So I really hope that this is the shade. Next, I got the Rare Beauty Eye Brightener. Jesus? What the fuck? We're good, guys. It was just my dad. Okay, so then, sorry, that just like. Okay, then I got the Rare Beauty Eye Brightener. So I have this one, but this is not really an eye brightener anymore. It's more like an eye darkener. It's not my shade. 
So I got the really light one, so it actually works. And last but not least, I got the KYS Beauty Cream Bronzer Stick. This is one that is like sort of popular, but I don't really know. It's super cute. I honestly might return it though, because I don't think I got the right shade. It's like kind of dark, but I'm gonna try it and it looks super cute. And the packaging is adorable. Okay, so this is everything. And I got the receipt so I can tell you the total. So the total was $204.37. And I'm going to tell you the amount. So the bronzing stick was $20. The... The free. Is that... Wait, what? Okay. The... Oh, the rare... I was like, what is RB? The rare beauty was 24 the concealer was 36 the soul there's no mist was 38 the moisturizer was 39 and this primer was 34 so yeah so make sure to go check out i will um i'll make like a comment on this post and then i will do the get ready with me to that comment bye fellas Huge, massive, gigantic Sephora haul. I got the most viral products that were nearly impossible to find in stores. Been saving up for months to multiple Sephora hauls. So this is sort of a part two to my last one. Everyone is so crazy about these rosy and bronzy drops. I am having the hardest time ever finding the bronzy drops. So I'm making sort of a series at this point. So you guys go in stores with me and find the bronzy drops. But in the meantime, I found the rosy drops. I'm just going to hold on to this until I buy myself the bronzy drops so I can later on mix them together. How does everyone do this? Oh, look, I have the rosy drops. Next thing I actually cannot believe I got is the Say Super Glowy Gel. And you guys have been telling me about it in the comments. And you were saying that this is apparently like the bronzy drops for a drunk elephant i'm gonna be using this instead of the bronzy drops for now this was the last one they had on stock and people were racing to get it i think it works pretty good like it looks like the bronzy drops and this is in the shade sun glow i'm gonna have to do this faster because this is a really big haul and you guys know that it's all my life savings next thing i got is this huda beauty famous powder which also went viral this was not cheap it was like 40 dollars. but look at this i finally have it in my hands this is in the shade pound cake and i also saw the pink ones people have been getting the pink ones but i'm just i don't i'm not sure how that's gonna work so for now i have this whoa it smells so good i think they should match my skin color pretty well then this viral jisoo lip oil supposedly it tastes like honey and it was like 30 dollars for a lip oil which i get but it better be worth the hype like does it at least smell like honey okay yeah at least it smells like honey a little this shape is so aesthetic though one of the more expensive purchases was this kosa spray and I don't know what's up with this, but this is most also the last one in stock. So this is once again, a really lucky haul. It's like firming, lifting, soothing. It's all in one. So this is how it looks like. This wouldn't be a Sephora haul if I didn't get myself something from Rare Beauty. And this is the Positive Light um, Liquid Highlighter. It's in the shade Mesmerize. I wonder how pink it would look like on my face. Honestly, it looks, I think it looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna add this to my Rare Beauty collection. Running out of time. So next, they actually gave me this Glow Recipe Free mini package. And that's, that was really generous. This is the Watermelon Pore Tight Toner. And this is the Drops. These are their best-selling products, so I get why. I had to buy this Refi brush because everyone applying blush or something, they're like, oh, I'm using my Refi blush brush. Now, why not me? Since I was saving up, why not get it? It's a dual ended brush and it looks pretty nice. You guys know it's gonna be my get ready with me's. Yeah, so I'm sort of preparing for my get ready with me's. And this is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I was actually out of mine, so this is like a restock. I actually love how the Ordinary is super affordable and it actually works. Just love this brand. I bought something from Patrick Ta and it's the brow gel because uh, my brows have been looking all over the place and I just needed a brow gel. So this was the highest rated brow gel. I'm increasing my haul speed 
This is the Tower 28 lip glosses. Wait, I think I got one in the wrong shade. I just hate when I mess something up, but it's okay. It's a cute shade too. First of all, this is uh, in the shade Almond, which I love it. Very neutral. And this is Sesame, which is the darker pink color. And I got a new lash curler. It's just plain gray. Looking good. We have like less than two minutes left. This is a beauty blender because my beauty blender is really, it's, it's kind of dead now, so... I just got a plain beauty blender. Another spray I got is the Tower 28 Rescue Spray. Serum or is it a spray? I think I got the wrong thing. I still need a serum though. Then I've been trying to find my perfect concealer and I just can't find it. So I'm trying out this Kosas one. The shade all 60 medium tan. I hope it's not too dark though. And I think it should work just fine. And of course the Fenty Beauty Heat Lip Gloss. This is my second one from Fenty Beauty. And this is in the shade Fussy Heat. Still on the hunt for the bronzy drops and I'll keep you guys updated. I did a thing and I bought the Sephora advent calendar so you wouldn't have to. Because let's be real. Let's just be real. Are they really worth it? I probably should get my box cutter. And yes, I'm opening every single one of these. Now I already know what's in the box, but I don't know what door is behind. So we're going to be surprised together. Starting with number one. Okay, fun fact. I've never tried the Rare Beauty Mascara. I own it, but I've never tried it. But you get a little mini one. Number two is next. Paula's Choice Liquid Exfoliant. Okay, where's number three? There it is. I feel like I'm holding a guitar the way I'm holding this. I know you lying. I know you lying. Who is fuck? All jokes aside, this is perfect for blending out your concealer. I mean, once you wet it, it expands, but I was not expecting it to be this small. All right, so number four. I feel like I've never tried this brand. It's Mason Louis Marie. Louise Marie. And the scent is, well, it's number 13. Oh, this smells nice. Oh, I like that. So we literally have to rush through this. We got number five, Moroccan oil. What is this? Oil treatment. Do, 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 do. Moroccan oil treatment. So y'all can see the actual packaging itself. Number six. Oh, girl, I thought I broke my press on. Oh, this is <gasps> you to the people. Okay, I totally forgot this. Wait, this is actually bigger than what I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be like a little small one. Yeah, so I'm glad it was a size because usually it's like this small, but this is a good size. Obsessed with this cleanser. Okay, number seven is tiny. This is what the beauty blender should have been in. What is this? Okay, I think this is Drunk Elephant. Girl, I can't even get it out. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the Drunk Elephant Moisturizer. She is tiny, but she's cute. Okay, number eight is, what is this? Oh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. What color is this? Medium, wait, medium brown is too light. But this is a good brow pencil. So we have number nine. Topicals, girl. Topicals. This is the body serum. And it's a good size. Okay, wait. Some of the stuff I was expecting it to be like this small. Okay. Number 10 is next. Okay, this is the Grande Lash um, Lash MD. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had an allergic reaction. I had an allergic reaction when I used this a while ago. Um, a while back. I can't even talk. But um, I hear it's good. But it just didn't work for me. Eleven. What is this? Oh, Ellis Brooklyn Myth. Okay, I have the body oil in this. I don't own the perfume though. And I think this is a, yep, it's a roller ball. She's cute. This is something I like to wear in the spring though. But it smells really good. Okay, oh, we are halfway. Number 12. Milk. This is a blush, I believe. Oh, no. Okay. Is that right there? Hold on, let me try to get it. Yes, yeah, so it is the lip and cheek stick in the shade work. Okay, 13 is pretty big. I'm going to assume that this is maybe, 
I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. First aid beauty body scrub. Y'all, I'm telling you, I was not expecting these to be this size. Like this is two ounce. 14 is really tiny, so what is this? What could this be? What is this? Is this perfume? It is a perfume, and she is tiny, but I think it's the Chloe perfume. It's, girl, <gasps> okay. Girl, Kiss Press-Ons Strong, okay, strong. This is the Chloe, yep, Chloe perfume. How cute is that bottle? Okay, so 15 is next. Super Goop, the glow screen. Is this a tinted one? No, this is a regular, but I lied. This is a tinted one. This is in the shade Golden Hour. Okay, 16 is pretty tiny too, so I wonder what this is. Okay, Armani Beauty Lipstick. Girl, the sun is going down. I'm working with only the light in this room, which the quality is horrible, but it's just a pink color. What shade is it? 104. She's cute. I think I know what this one is. I think. I want to say it's a Summer Fridays lip balm. Trying to find it. No, this is the... Oh, ver, ver, no. <laughs> Very classy. But yeah, it is the Vigamore Leave-In Conditioner. I've never tried anything from this brand. Let me know if this is a good brand. Let me know. At least now it'll be easier to take the stuff out with my finger. Oh, this is destroying the box. <gasps> no, I did not know this was going to be. How did I miss this? Dr. Dennis, y'all, Dr. Dennis grows pads. These are the universal daily peel pads. Skin like butter, okay? Get you some. I know I'm not tripping. I don't see 19 anywhere on here. I see two bonuses, but I don't see 19. So I guess open a bonus. Or let's just skip to 20 instead because there's literally not one 19 on here. So we're going to open 20 and see. Okay, so this is the refi. Oh, is this the... Y'all, okay, so I've never tried it before. They have like lip a lip liner. Is this what this is? Oh, no, this is the clear brow sculpt from refi. But they have like this brown lip liner that I want to try. So but let me know how this is because I've never tried it either. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like I'm tripping because I don't see 19. Like, was that an no? Is this wait? I kid you not. Some of these I totally forgot they were in here. The clean reserves. Is this the skin? No, this is radiant nectar. Never tried this scent, but clean reserve skin is my favorite perfume from this brand. 22 is Laneige moisturizer, y'all. Girl, hit on 19 right here. I know you lying. Hold on, let's let's get to this. Smashbox primer. Yeah, we gotta go fast. We gotta go real fast. I'll be back. 23 is a mini Laura Mercier setting powder. 24 is a Sol Generio body mist. 25 is a full-size lipstick by Gwen Stefani. And it's red. Last two are bonuses, which is a glow recipe blur drops and a full-size summer Fridays lip balm. But that's it, girl. Which one should I do next? I've been on holiday, guys. I've been on a cruise with my family, and we stopped off at Portugal. And when I say the Sephora in Lisbon was absolutely insane. I actually did a whole haul. I may have got a little bit too carried away. I think I spent over 300 pounds, but let's go. Let's get into this. First things first, I had to go to the Makeup by Mario stand. I went into the shop and I said to the lady, I need Makeup by Mario. And she literally was like, we have a stand. And I was like, oh my gosh, please be the product that I want. And I got it, which is the Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette. Hopefully it's not smashed. <gasps> yes, look at that palette. I've seen so many people use it and it's like the nude palette of dreams. So it's in my hand. I'm so excited. Of course, I had to pick up more things from Mario because... At this point, I was like, oh my gosh, my dreams are coming true. So I actually picked up a contour stick. This is in the shade medium dark. Exciting, guys. Very exciting. I've never tried this before. The only thing that I was upset about is that they didn't have the concealer in stock yet, which I was a bit upset about. But, you know, it is what it is. Look at that! Cream contour stick. Absolutely obsessed. I actually don't have many cream contour sticks, so it's about time I had one. And I've heard this is a good one. Next, I had to pick up something from Fenty Beauty. So this is the Smooth Tint Stick. I've seen so many people trying this out on my TikTok and it looks so nice. I just hope I got the right shade because I really just didn't know. Like, you know when you're like trying it out on your hand and you're like, 
I just don't know. Is it going to work? We'll see. I got the shade 13, which I believe is the shade I use in the normal skin tint. So it better work. That is what it looks like. I don't know if that's going to be too light. I don't know. Actually, I think it might work. I think it might work. I'm really excited about this. I saw these Rem Beauty foundations all over my For You page and lots of people have said it's really nice. So I picked it up in the shade Tan 5 NW. No idea if this shade is going to work for me, but I just wanted to pick one up to try anyway for you guys. It looks really nice, like really nice. It could be too dark, too light, I don't know. But if this works for me, I'll be so happy because this looks so cool. Like, yeah. Thank you. Next, I got this from Fenty Skin. Now, I've seen this again all over my few page. It's basically a blemish targeting gel. And apparently, you can wear it underneath your foundation. And when I saw that, I was like, what? Like, what on earth? What is the sorcery? Because I need to try this because I do get blemishes quite a lot and blemish prone. And the fact that this can go underneath your makeup excites me. It really does. I feel like I could use this at the gym, like to put it over my spot and then, I don't know, it'll just hopefully work wonders. I actually picked up another thing from Fenty Beauty, actually. I picked up the lip gloss in the shade Fussy because, again, I've seen so many people use this shade. And at first, when I used to work in boots and I saw this shade, I was like, oh, it looks a bit light for me. Like, it looks like something that I wouldn't wear. But then I've seen loads of people with darker skin tones try this with a brown lip liner, and it actually looks insane. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to add it to my collection of many Fenty lip glosses <laughs> um, and try it out. So I thought that'd be nice. I then saw this because I actually saw a few people using these Milk Makeup blushes in an ad somewhere. I don't know where it was, but I saw an ad and I was like, ooh, I'm so influenced by that. So I picked up this, which is actually a mini version of one of their like rosy pink coloured ones. And I just thought it looked really cute in the tube. And I thought, you know what, for travel, that is so cute. It looks like that. And then you can just put it on and then yeah i'm hoping it will look good and i'm hoping it won't break like the bronzers do i feel like anyone who owns this in the bronzer version it's it's broken it broke it broke at some point okay meant to be for lips and cheeks so really excited about that one next thing i actually saw this they had the big q barrier full of really exciting things and i was like i need to get something from this q barrier that i've not tried before and yeah i saw these these are um blemish sheet masks and I just thought, oh, that's really, like, interesting. A sheet mask, but blemish versions. I don't know. It says five mini sheet masks. Like I said before, I'm blemish prone, so I love me anything that's, like, going to help with spots. So I thought I'd pick this up. And it looks really cute. It's by a brand called Patchology. Let me know if you've tried these before. Then I actually picked up this, which is a lip balm. I actually love lip balms at the moment. It's one of my favourite things. I don't know why. Maybe because in winter, my lips are literally like the Sahara Desert, dry, cracked, literally disgusting. So I thought, you know what? I'm better to stock up the lip balms now. So then I'm all prepared for the winter. And this is by a brand called Lano Lips. And I've seen quite a few people try these and say they're really good. I've seen like loads of ads and stuff. And you can use it for lips, cuticles, elbows, heels. Yes, thank you, because I'll be getting drier heels, dry elbows, dry lips, everything dry. Dry, okay? So I'm hoping this is going to be like my best friend in the winter. And then last of all, it's actually a free gift that they gave me at the till because they probably thought, geez, this girl spent a lot of money in Sephora, so let me just give her a pat on the back and a free something. So what did I get? Number three, Hair Perfector. Olaplex. I feel like I've used this before. Let me just check. Oh yeah, I use this all the time. I love Olaplex number three. So when he gave it me, I was like, ah, thank you. How did you know? I love it. So yeah, thanks Sephora for the little freebie. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments if you want me to review anything that I have bought from Sephora. I definitely will be reviewing a lot of it, I think. I got some good stuff right. Currently in the States, so I went to Sephora and spent a lot of money. Well, I didn't spend that much. I only spent $262. I actually didn't do that bad. My cousin actually spent $500 on makeup today. So I was in a rush. So I didn't get everything I wanted. So I'll probably go back and get some more products. But I'll show you guys what I got today. Starting very strong, I had to get the House Labs by Lady Gaga Concealer. I've seen everyone talking about this. So... I just had to get it. I do have the foundation, which I really like. I can't wear it for a long time because it makes me oily. But I do like it and I do wear it. I got the shade 
light medium neutral this cost me 32 dollars guys i am on a hunt to get the one size setting spray and primer but i can't find it anywhere and i'm so annoyed it's always sold out so i only got two things from one size this one is the secure the blur primer but this is not the one i want i want the other one the one that comes in a little tube i think that one is like sweat proof or waterproof i'm still gonna give this one a try but this cost me how much did it cost me 34 dollars i lied i only got one thing from one size i thought i got the blush but it was the patrick tar one that i got the last time that I went to the state, I got the She's a Doll shade and I absolutely loved it so much. So I had to get like a peachy tone one. Oh my God, someone used this one. This one's already dirty. Ew! Okay, it's, they haven't touched this. It's only dirty there. But this is the shade. It looks quite pinky, but it's actually like a peachy tone. Oh my God, these blushes are a must they're honestly amazing it's the shade she's that girl this cost me 36 dollars okay i've seen these makeup forever lip liners going viral as well so i had to get two shades i'm using this one today this is the shade limitless brown and this is the shade endless cacao and they're both like browns but this one is like a warm brown and this one is a cool brown these lip liners were 22 dollars each and i got a lipstick from makeup by mario which i'm wearing today as well this is the shade sierra and this a very like nude shade it's absolutely stunning i do need to get more products from makeup by mario so i will be going back to sephora soon lipstick was 26 dollars okay i got my hand on one of the summer fridays lip balm i really wanted to get the kit that comes in three but there was one shade that i didn't like in the kit so i was just like let me get one first try it and then i'll get other shades later this is the shade pink sugar i don't know if they smell i don't know why i want to smell it oh my god they smell like butter i mean they are lit butter balms <laughs> and this one cost me 24 dollars okay moving on to the skincare products i got myself a fresh toner i used to love this so much that when I saw it, I was just like, I just want it. And also the petals inside, amazing. And this toner cost me $27. I thought it would be a lot cheaper because it's a mini size. See, I don't, I don't really pay attention to the prices. I literally just put everything in the basket and then just go and pay. Because if I look at the price... I'll probably won't buy it and i got myself a cleanser because i didn't bring a cleanser on this trip and i really needed a small one but i couldn't find small cleansers and this was the only one that was quite small and this is from the company youth to the people i've heard amazing stuff about this brand actually and i did use it today before applying my makeup and i really liked it it's like a oil base but it foams up it's really nice and this one cost me 14 dollars oh my god that's quite cheap 14 dollars that is very cheap i'm surprised and the last product that i got is this i got the watermelon last time and i'm obsessed i need to go back and get the rest of the flavors not flavors scent and this one is the scent power mist is it power mist i don't know i think it's apple i don't know what scent this is i think it's apple but yeah i had to get it i love these and this one was ten dollars that is everything i got at sephora if there's any brands that you guys would like me to try that you haven't seen in the sephora hauls that i've been doing please let me know because i want to try 
products that people don't really talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye. Mwah. I was in New York. I spent $450 in Sephora when I only meant to go in for tweezers. Let's do a full face. And looking at it right now, this does not look like $450 worth of makeup. It looks like $45. Anyway, I've spent it now, so let's do a full face. The first thing I got is actually just a top up of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I'm running low and you can't get this in Ireland. I say this all the time, but it's one of my favorite primers ever. It's like glue for your makeup. I'm gonna clip back these bits while I do my makeup because they're gonna get in my face and I'm gonna get overstimulated and frustrated. It's giving Hansel and Gretel, but let's ignore. This next one I'm so excited about. This is the House Labs by Lady Gaga foundation. I have heard so many good things about this foundation, so I'm so excited to try it. Look at that packaging. It's giving luxury. I apply it with a little brush first and then go over it with my beauty blender. Obsessed so far. Look at that coverage. This is literally like melting into my skin. I don't know if it's coming up that well on camera, but that has literally melted into my skin. Usually when I just go in with the brush, I'm like, I have to use a beauty blender over it, but it doesn't even look like I have to. It has soaked into my skin and it's still so high coverage. This could be a potential new favorite foundation, but I don't want it to be because you can't get it here. The next thing I got is the new Makeup by Mario concealer. Picked this up in shade 180 blend this out with my beauty blender like I usually do oh my god this is like wow this is like so lightweight but super full coverage and it's not sitting into any of my creases no I don't like this I don't want like my favorite products to be products I can't get in Ireland I want to pay customs fees every time I buy a concealer but I might have to I just went in with some cream contour and blush I used the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand in medium deep and the cash beauty skin glaze in doll and now it's time to set and we have two new products. I'm so excited. I am obsessed with little minis and Sephora always has the best minis. And they had a mini Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder. So I have it. So we're blend set baking as usual. So we're setting with this under the eyes. Oh wow. Okay. Holy moly. Where has this product been all my life? I can't believe I haven't owned this before. I got this in shade one fair pale words cannot describe how excited I am to try this this is the Givenchy matte finish and enhanced radiance loose powder four in one harmony this is so hyped up online and everyone I've talked to that has this loves it so I had to get it I think oh it comes with a powder puff fabulous the fucking price of it it want to I go to the genie swear I'd be able to peel a fucking sticker and we're going to bake with this. So going in with my little puff, pat off a little bit of that excess and right under the eyes. Taking it all down the side of my nose to snatch that nose contour under the jaw contour. And I'm just going to press the excess into my smile lines because I crease really. For... This is like, this is like airbrushing my skin for real. Oh, I'm just after forgetting I bought the NARS liquid blush and I already put liquid blush on. I'll try this in a different video. Apologies. Anyways, while that bakes, I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows. Brows are on. Let's blend away this bake. I actually like genuinely look airbrushed like this. I feel like this looks even better in person. This has changed the game. Like, do you see that? That is flawless. Okay, just added some bronzer, blush, liner, mascara. And now we're moving on to highlight. This is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb. They didn't have the white one, which is the one I'm still looking for. You can't get it anywhere. It's like gold dust or diamond dust. But this is the one in shade Rose Rave. I don't even think the camera is picking up how stunning this is. It's just... Okay, I might have to use the back camera. It's just the perfect highlighter. It's so glittery, but doesn't cast a shadow. I'm shook and I'm so glad I have my own one now. Next up, we have another mini. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump Gloss. I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna put my other lip products on top. And now we wait. Yeah, I can definitely feel the plump. And I don't know if this is a placebo, but they look plumper to me. And we're gonna finish this off with some Patrick Ta lip products. First going in with the lip liner. This is in shade She Single. I used this already and I'm obsessed. It is so creamy. And then for lipstick, I think I'm going to go in with shade She's Secure. Oh my god. Obsessed. And that as a combo, unreal. 
I think that was a successful haul. My makeup looks flawless. So I don't regret spending that much money. Maybe a little bit, but it looks, I look good. We're at Sephora and we just had our holiday meeting and we got these like gift bags. So we're gonna go through it and see what we got. First, the bag in itself is a thing and it's so cute, little Sol de Janeiro bag. First thing I already know about this, we got an hourglass powder because our ASM reached out to hourglass and they sent us some powders. So that's so cool. Just the full size translucent powder. We had two of our favorite brand reps come in and present at the meeting. So first, Joseph from Ilia, we have a setting spray full size limitless mascara and what is this little brow gel thanks joseph i had to miss their like little stations because i had my own but lori also came in with tula and this is my first time looking at this this tula water bottle is so cute and it comes with hold on the cult classic cleanser the brightening treatment drops the 24 7 moisturizer and the eye recharge and replenish i actually haven't looked at this yet but i'm so excited to use all of these i love to love thank you lori i love you both this is another thing i got i already knew about it though because i put it immediately on um when the meeting ended it's a little say hat i'm obsessed oh my god also got two say blushes in rosy and is it chilly or chill it's chilly <gasps> There's little and cute. Oh my god. And then the star glow little sample. I know what this is because we gave it away for our Makeup Forever takeover. But this cute little Makeup Forever bag. And then this headband. Look at how cute that is. Little Makeup Forever headband. Um, hello? Say lash curler? That is adorable. Okay, I also got a little mini Makeup Forever translucent powder. And then a NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I don't even think we sell these anymore. I have like 7 million eyeliner swatches on my hands. It looks like that. Really pretty. I feel like I just need to keep adding things to my outfit. This is the holiday shirt. Also, I'm not done. There are more products. This is the holiday shirt for this year. Give something beautiful. How cute. She is going on. I added the Makeup Forever headband to my hat. If you couldn't tell, it is now a Makeup Forever hat okay cute this is happening because i cried from exhaustion at work today and that is not a lie so i'm a little delusional right now i got some stuff from benefit the 24 brow setter and i haven't tried no 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 i think i'm wearing that today and then what little gimme brow in three i think that's gonna be too light but it's fine I need to just start pulling things out okay Vegamore Grow Revitalizing Shampoo and Conditioner. I think I literally just got one of those, but that's still exciting. Um, Way Leave-In Conditioner. I've actually like wanted to try this for a while, so like that's kind of cool. More from Vegamore. Yeah, I just got these from the rep, but I have more now. I have doubles now. Um, the Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner and the Hydrate Deep Moisture Hair Mask. Ooh, a little rare beauty thing. I now have three of these bracelets because I got one from Sephora and I got one from Sephora from before. So that's cool. I have three little bracelets. Um, and then we have a mini Encourage blush and a mini mascara, favorite mascara, as we know. I've only tried this in a sample before. It's the Amika, the Hydro Rush shampoo and conditioner, and I love it. My hair looked beautiful when I used it. Amazing. Um, Skin Fix Barrier Plus Foaming Oil Cleanser. I've heard good things about that. A little Moroccan oil treatment. Um, Caudalie Vino Perfect. Is this the eye cream? Yeah, it's the eye cream. Cool. Last few things. Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Collagen Activating Serum. Um, Olaplex number four. See, I actually really, is this a clarifying? Yeah, I actually really, 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 really like this clarifying shampoo and I missed it so I will be using all of that up gimme brow in three again and then I, I mean I'll use it I'll use it why not makeup forever little primer sample thing and then rare beauty is this just like pictures of her cool we love it we love Selena okay that's what I got for my holiday meeting thank you Kat for putting that together I also got this little bracelet I did not get that for free I paid $120 it's a permanent bracelet it has a little opal on it my birthday is in five days I think yep five days birthday presents to myself okay I need to sleep thank you for watching goodbye